Hey guys, welcome back to another review. I'm very excited to show you another crew model figure that I recently picked up. Well, actually, I pre-ordered this guy back in last June, and I didn't get him until January, so a uh, pretty long wait, but definitely worth it. This is an excellent figure, one of their newest ones. He came out in 2020, and um, yeah, I'm really impressed with this one. And uh, he might be my favorite that I own so far. Um, just a really awesome figure. So let's jump right in and take a look at the box. So we've got the outer cardboard box with some artwork there of the knight. This is the Knight of the Spirit. And not much else to show. All right, so here is the inner box. And this is much more ornate and beautiful. There's a great picture of the figure. And this is a French knight. You can see he's got the fleur-de-lis symbol on his tunic. And there's another picture on the side. And then on the other side, another picture for you. And as you can see, this box is massive. It's very long and of course, very heavy. And I think that's everything to show for the box. So really beautiful. As always, I love these Ku model boxes. All right, inside we've got the pamphlet for instructions on how to put his armor on. All right, and I did put everything back inside just to give you a basic idea of what he would look like when you first get him. Not, not everything is um, how it came originally, but I did my best to put everything back in the way it came for the most part. Um, so for starters, let's take a look at the helmet that this figure comes with. Uh, this might be my favorite thing about this figure. This helmet is outstanding, really. Um, this is the Hound Skull bassinet helmet. This is this has always been um, one of my favorites. All right, the visor opens up, of course. And you can see the chainmail is um, attached into the uh, inside of the helmet. And this is real metal. Very nice. All right, here is his shield. Great detail on this, it looks like it's real wood. That's very nice. And we've got uh, other hands here for the figure. All right, we've got his sword. And this is a beautiful sword. Very impressive. All right, and as for the actual figure, here he is. Very interesting head sculpt. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a little strange. He's got a, a strange smile on his face, but uh, regardless, incredibly detailed. And underneath his tunic, he's got uh, armor. This figure is very heavy. As you can see, he's just uh, loaded with armor here. So a very heavy figure. All right, and I'll show more once I put everything on him. Um, This is really beautiful. Got the flag here. All right, so let me put um, some of his equipment on. I'll be right back. 
Okay guys, well here he is with all of his armor on. I've got him equipped with his shield and his sword. And as you can see, this figure is absolutely stunning. And very, very solid. Uh, this is a great quality figure. And yeah, he looks magnificent. So yeah, my favorite part is um, the Hound Skull helmet. Really love how this looks on the figure. A little tricky to get on his head, but once you get it on there, it's very snug. There it is with the visor open. You can see the head sculpt inside, and then they also give you a hood there to protect his head. That looks great. And yeah, this chainmail is very impressive. All right, and he's holding his shield. A little tricky to get that on. And then his sword, which once again is really exquisite. I love um, all the ornate details on the hilt, especially, it's very nice. All right, as for his armor, um, I like his gauntlets a lot. Those are nice, and that is, that's plastic. The majority of it is metal though, like his pauldrons, that's metal. Um, this is plastic here. His leg armor, that's, this is all, um, this is all metal. It's very nice. And I love um, the leather straps. Even his belt has got the the red leather. That looks really great. And his boots are very nice. And then there's the sheath for his sword once again, very exquisite. I love all the details, very impressive. And uh, I personally really like the tunic on the figure. Um, I think that looks great, the blue against the silver. That's a really nice look. Um, I'll leave that on because it is a pain to take off. But you know, if you didn't want to put the tunic on, he does have really nice uh, armor underneath. His breastplate is very nice. and Yeah, this is all really impressive. And you can see he has a hauberk underneath that. It's not um, metal, but still looks good. Can't really see too much of it with um, the tunic on. All right. Um, then let me put the spear in his hands. Uh, give me one second. All right, guys, well, just briefly, here he is holding uh, the spear with the flag, which is really nice. Love all these symbols on the flag, that looks great. And then of course the figure also does come with a stand, which I will show a brief clip at the end of him on the stand. Um, so yeah, that's everything to show for the figure. Very, very impressive night. And I highly recommend picking this one up if you are able to. He is tricky to find within the US. Like I said, I did have to pre-order this one and I got him off uh, Monkey Depot. Uh, they're a great source for getting Ku model nights. Um, but you do have to wait a while, which is unfortunate. But um, he is in the, uh, I think it was a little over $200. So, you know, as you would expect, these figures are not cheap. But um, you get what you pay for. These these figures are incredibly impressive. And this one, uh, really, um, I really love this one. So 
Hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'll see you next time.